So we're going to patch the USB for this uh, KB Lake. So first thing we need to do is to open Registry Explorer. And we're going to go to USB. Download the SSD TUAAC all. So according to the IO registry, we do not have the ESC1 or ESC2. So all we do have is just the XSC. Now when we click this one here, our controller is 92F. I right. have this one here, 92F. So we delete everything up to this one. So we need the one that's the same. So actually he put practically everything in here already. Okay. So what I want to do, I want to name this one to 92F. So we look in here, we see the port counts. So 0F, right? 0, 0, HS1. This one is port 3, okay? And port number 1. So that's good. It's right here. Same. Just going down. Number six is FF. So USB connector is internal. So it's 255. And then number seven is three. Number eight now is connector FF. So I need to change 3 to 255, five, which is FF, or you can put 0, zero times FF either way. So we don't have 4 and 5, so we can take these out. So USR1, 0B, B is 11, and also connected 3. And your SR2, also C, which is 12, and connector 3 also. So now we need to compile to C, 0. So that means it's good. Save as MacBook Pro 14.2. So I'm going to put 14.2. Then we're going to save it again as machine language. And I can put a tag on it. All right. So this is how we patch this one. The config and on the ACPI sorted order, we put this one there. Change all. If you open the DSDT and alternate F, H underscore EC. We got 37. We're going to have to patch manually all of these guys. H underscore EC. That's nothing. So we don't have to do that. So we have two. So what we're going to do is going to replace EC. Replace all. So we're going to save as E C A M L. Okay. It has D T four. We're gonna go through all of them. Three, four, seven, ten, and twelve. And at the same time, we want to make sure. So we're gonna change this one. Three, EC, 
we have 4EC and then we have nothing until 7 10 and 12 at the same time we're gonna make sure that in the DSDT we're gonna patch so this one right here we're gonna change it disable to no so when they said it's disabled to know that mean it will do so how to check to see if we patch the USB correctly when we open this up IO registry and we search for EC and right here if you see the current limit power supply they have the value that you set from the USBX so you set the USBX this is the value and it should appear here that means that this one USB is correct supposedly every time we wake up we still see the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi how do we set it in the config the ACPI we sort it order so all of the SSDT we change to the EC from the H underscore EC to EC because According to Rehab Man, the SSDT, they, uh, you cannot patch from the Clover. It's only do the uh, DSDT. So, ch see, change H underscore EC to EC. All of these are the one that have the H underscore EC. You have to change, rename them to EC. Okay, so this is the DW1560. This one has a problem losing the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi after after deep sleep after many hours so I left this one overnight and now it's working so the important thing is that we need to put the argument and I use the delay of 300 millisecond 500 and 500 so now with the USB patch correctly so if you look EC and this one now has the port current that's how we fix this one so to ensure the Wi-Fi doesn't go to sleep what we're gonna do is to set enable power nap and also a little power nap. Okay, this is a USB test for the HP NV KB Lake. So this one right here is USB C hub, and for some reason it said it's USB 2.0, the Patriot, and USB speed is uh, 4. Is actually USB 3.0 and also USB hub speed is also 4 passport a USB 3.0 and USB speed is 4 and this one's connected to USB on the right hand side and it's Patriot USB 3.0 hub is on the left hand side and the USB 2 so we have the memory so USB card reader 3.0 SD and this micro SD and also on the hub we have the USB 3.0 and this one is also USB 3.0 and we connected the uh, HDMI and it's also work on this uh, USB C hub and this one's on the left hand side so plug in a USB-C to the right hand side uh, it has to be plugged in before it's boot up for it to see and if you unplug it it will reboot the right hand side of this uh, USB-C of this laptop uh, doesn't seem to work well 